quick example of a neural network training. So I have this sinusoid that uh, we are trying to predict its shape. So for example, if, if it was the stock market or something, we could have tried and predicted where it's going to go next. Lots of fun. You can control your parameters from here. So the training set size currently there was, uh, I think, 18 uh, data points by default. You can increase it, say, to 30. The number of hidden uh, layers, a uh, first hidden layer, second hidden layer. And you can also change the noise level. So say, let's keep that 0.5. Let's see how the neural net is learning. That's essentially its uh, performance in uh, green, the error trend. So it's getting to point, is it point 0.2, not point 0.1. And that's the prediction result. So if we add, say, more uh, layers, see if it does any better. Then we could also check how it's uh, performing in uh, noise. It's all uh, running in the JavaScript. Uh, so when deployed on the website, it will be running in your browser. There's a couple things that we need to fix before publishing this. So currently the styling for this page is not great. Well, because uh, it stretches the text and uh, everything else doesn't really fit the page. No, it does, but it's, um, yeah, it's still a bit funny. Yeah, you can keep uh, changing uh, parameters on the fly. Yeah, so we expect the uh, lower performance with, low, with less uh, data points in the training set. Yeah, so it's essentially not uh, being able to converge. Takes some time as well. Don't know why. Yeah, we really need the bot to uh, fix this for us. Let's reboot the page. Yeah, can some musical music breaks, music breaks. Do you like this music or not? Let me know. I don't have a CEO or anything talking in my ears, just me monitoring the sound from another device. Just to make sure I'm using the correct uh, microphone. Okay, so how do we improve this thing? First of all, well, we use GPT-4, we can't code. Uh, we have uh, a GitHub Copilot there as well. And uh, just go... Oops, commented out the JavaScript instead of the CSS. Okay, now it's better. Yeah, the CSS does something to the charts, which I don't like. I only have charts once over there. Uh, we'll fix it later. Should have GPT. Or as well, I pop in the HTML and JavaScript. Now, question is, what in the HTML controllers is not currently being used in JavaScript? There's several controllers for the neural network configuration, which values are not be used so this is would be the activation function a optimizer a box batch size we have the activation function option relu sigmoid uh, done optimizer adam cgd other grad those are standard uh, options and the loss function is being calculated by mean squared error, mean absolute error, or mean squared logarithmic error. And this is not currently being implemented. We have 
to change our JavaScript as a train model function. So we're currently looking only at the uh, training size, a uh, hidden layer size, and uh, second layer size. We need to add activation optimizer loss function epochs the number of epochs and batch size a this constant model will take uh, the activation as well then we have a model compile that will take the optimizer and the loss function and what else what else I'll compile get the training data can remain the same that the error trend chart yeah what about the error trend chart yeah we need to regenerate the can we regenerate the whole train model async function currently epochs and batch size the variables are not being used let's see if it can do that so obviously we're using a gpt full disclosure it's rewriting this uh, train model shall we split it into train model and update charts and as uh, separate functions i think it's actually doing it already it's way too smart dynamic training configuration now using epochs and batch size correctly controlling the training loop and the number of samples per gradient update respectively doing a chart management as a separate thing okay shall we a comment this whole function out where would this go let's pop it in there make sure all the functions are uh, used um, okay that's not cool the box must be a much uh, larger uh, number where's the training stuff training stuff is not visible do we need the music break to relax a good thing about the uh, gpt4 is that we can do this okay there are a couple of problems uh, first of all the training data is not visible on the top uh, chart um, any other issues any other issues batch size why is this not updating the training data should be visible on the top chart data training set being correctly plotted we have fbox a learning rate uh, can we fix the original thresholds and default values in the html so the whole thing works better and make sure that the training uh, data is uh, actually visible on the top chart that would be nice need to fix the following javascript code as well and let's do html adjustments first so the learning the learning rate uh, the minimum value can be reduced maximum value 0.3 the actual value 0.01 the number of epochs needs to be increased a max of 1000 minimum 10 
let's go for a value of uh, 100 a batch size let's go between 10 and 100 20 a default and javascript train model might be a problem with that okay we have reset charts have the training loop ah the training loop training loop update this goes oops I uh, don't get it I don't get it okay now we have the training data it's not quite a sinusoid is it hey we want prompt just uh, sometimes it just needs to correct the data and we will see if it uh, it makes a difference the training time blue line is now visible so that's great the training and prediction lines are not overlapping which might indicate the model predictions are not uh, aligning with the training data this could be several reasons well also the training data should be a sinusoid that's a bit odd that it isn't Also, any idea why the training data is not a sinusoid? How to fix the code? It used to be a sinusoid before. A get training data function. Incorrect data generation. We are regenerating the get training data. Have the size as an input. Didn't really see what the difference was train model function we're not plotting it correctly are we so we prepare the training data then we need to plot it something wrong every time you're asking it something it's generating a new function uh, which is not great yeah, we also need to uh, get rid of that. Initialize charts and not define what. If uh, GitHub Copilot can fix this quickly. Okay, I'll be finishing up in a sec. Let me know if there's any questions about bindingchaos.com. If you haven't checked it already, please go do so. You will be supporting the project this way. I'll say bye bye. Some music. <laughs>